Oh my, do you hate being poor? Do you want to be rich? Like me. If so, head over to Messy Modding Store for all your gaming needs where you can get GTA 5 cash and rank, GTA 5 modded accounts, and many more. And if you have any doubts, look at all these happy customers. So this video starts with me spawning in in the maze bank. And there's two people on my roof killing other people. Now that's completely fine. However, I assume that people that want to kill other people will want to get into a fight. So I just get in my savage, give them a little welcome, and they already start shooting at me. So this implies that they do want to fight. Now just so I can see if it's worth actually getting into a fight, I decided to go back in my office and check out this player profiles. The player called Just doesn't really have a high KD but is dressed kind of like a PvP player. The Call Me Tina does have a high KD but isn't dressed like a PvP player. Anyway, I'll go back out and resume the fight. Now there's something really interesting to point out here, this makes me really suspicious of one of them modding. Did you see that? Maybe not. Let's zoom in. So of course I get my hit marker, and if we have a quick look at the damage that was dealt, it's pretty much nothing. In fact, what it is, it's half of what I'd usually do, almost as if this player has BST. However, they're not in a CEO, and they've recently died, so there's pretty much no way for them to have got BST. Six, so I've just hit marked them. Now for some reason, this happens in pretty much all my videos, but this is the first fight that I've got of the day. So my aim is awful, this is why I miss all these shots. But if we have a look, Tina actually gets a hit marker on me, but takes off all my health. Now this happens if both players have BST, so somehow Tina has got BST. How does Tina have BST? Tina's not in the CEO. Tina isn't the leader of a CEO either. Definitely cheating. Now someone does end up joining the session and they seem to recognise my name. So Tina gets an oppressor mark too, obviously, and the other guy who recognises my name seems to be shooting at me. Okay, this guy's definitely fucking shooting at me, you dick. Tina's fucking cheating. Now this is something I sometimes say in the spur of the moment, but as you can see, Tina does aim in and I instantly die. Now this can happen just in general, I've done it before because people are actually quite good at the game sometimes. But let's just see what happens next. So as you can see I just got a little triad Ewo loot right here but Tina still manages to hit me like as I'm spawning in pretty much. Now consistency to be able to hit someone like this all the time is pretty hard and it's a high possibility they're cheating. However let's just keep watching. So yeah I go passive but this seems to really really annoy Tina. Really seems to get under their skin. Anyway while they're getting themselves triggered I just do a little passive toggle and the guy that was shooting at me even though he recognised me so didn't want to be friendly just to teach me a little bit of a lesson. Now Tina sees that I get out of passive and instantly goes in the CEO and instantly goes ghost. Now I can't be bothered for this because Tina's probably a modder. What the fuck just happened there? So I actually go in an RC car for once and here is where we see one of Tina's big mistakes. If we look at the kill feed they have one of these little rockstar things. So yeah I'll go call them out of course and they say that I have to enter in a certain series of characters to get that. Right, so editing the video right now. Let's put this to the test. Hashtag and 8721 semicolon. It doesn't seem to say the rockstar symbol though, so I'm not sure if this is concrete evidence, 
but mm, maybe someone can verify that in the comments. But anyway. So I get blown up in my RC car. Now that doesn't really seem like an auto cannon, so I don't know how they found me. But yeah, I'm just gonna teleport away. How hard can that be? Turns out, I'm not sure if it's intentional or not, but if there's a modder in the session, sometimes they can make it so it's just impossible to job teleport. However, I end up lagging out from the session, which is a thing that modders can make you do. Now, before I tell you what happens next, let's just go back through what has been said in the chat. So Tina says the only way I can kill them is with a savage. Now, I did kill them once with a sniper, but I guess their point is, yeah. But Tina then accuses me of being a modder. I call them weird and they say, how can you call me a weirdo when you follow me like a dog? However, it's Tina, the one that's been following me all this session. But I tell her the score is 4-3 because it is. And they really don't like that. Now let me explain what happens next. So after I supposedly lag out, a person from the same crew as Tina joins the session and all to kind me instantly as if it was using mods. And then somehow my game crashes. Now I've lost this footage, but I reckon it's Tina using a name changer. If we look at their crew profile, when you look at their motto, it says, no matter how often you kill us, we always get back up. So Tina, looks like the score is 4-3 and I'm up on you. If you want, you can claim the score is 4-4, but that involves you admitting that you're modding. The person that supposedly orbital cannon me as well, their name isn't in the crew and they haven't joined or left the crew at all. After Tina keeps blocking me, I decide to message the crew leader, see what their stance on this is. I say, hello, Mr. Leader of the crew. Did you know one of your members if a PvP modder? I then ask if that's something that they endorse, people modding in their crew, which if I owned a PvP crew would not be something that I'd want. And this is where it gets really funny. Mr. is already wrong. Don't assume genders if you have no idea who you are facing. Also, what they do is none of your business. If you can't do a mother's surround your time, it's time to leave GTA. Right, so that's a lot to unpack. Basically, what they're saying is they don't really care that their members are modding. Their crew has literally zero integrity. In fact, they're basically saying that it's my fault that I'm calling them out in the first place for modding because I should just expect that. So this is definitely what I say in my next message. <laughs> Wait, no, I can respond. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't message back. But basically, if you see anyone from this crew, which is called Fallen Revenant, just be sure to avoid them because they're probably a modder and it's your fault. But yeah, Tina's friend from earlier just I don't want to be one of them. Oh my god. I'm gonna hit my crew next time, Oh my god, bro. But yeah, if somehow you've ended up sticking all the way to the end, I just want to say that the next few videos, I'm gonna trial a new type of content style. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it. Let's see. Thanks for watching.